All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I have a short one for you where I'm gonna show you a way to finally increase frames per second significantly in Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2. Now, this is not the video about FPS that I've been talking about putting out. I'll have that out probably sometime next week. Subscribe if you want that notification. What I'm talking about today might end up giving you the biggest frame increase you've ever seen, and it might make the game feel a hell of a lot better. It did for me anyway. Now, in the background, you're seeing a benchmark test that I ran before I changed anything. Lately, my frames have been really low and the game is felt really sluggish it seems to have started sometime after the season 3 reloaded update no matter what i did or what settings i changed it didn't make a difference the game just felt terrible well if you guys have seen my other videos on responsiveness and audio settings you know that there are configuration files in the documents folder where you can change settings that affect how the game runs in the past i've mentioned the options.3.cod22 file and the options.3.codhq file. To get to them, you go down to the little yellow folder at the bottom of your desktop, click where it says documents, and then click Call of Duty and then players, and it brings you to a page that looks like this. Now you'll notice I have two different types of files, one that says COD HQ at the end, and then one that says COD 22 at the end. They're both identical, except the COD HQ is supposed to be newer. It just appeared one day. Well, come to find out having both files actually hurts your performance in game dramatically because the game is being forced to constantly read both files. And if the settings in one is different from the settings in the other, it makes it even worse. Now, yesterday I heard Doug is raw talking about how after he deleted the older configuration files, his frames skyrocketed. He said that with the updates over the past six months, they added newer configuration files without deleting the old ones and it's causing major issues. So after running this benchmark, I decided to go and delete the older COD22 file and then run the benchmark again. And to my surprise, my frames per second skyrocketed as well. You could see that during the first benchmark I ran, I was struggling to get over 200 frames per second consistently. Most of the time I was under 200. My lowest was 107, despite it saying 114 here. And my average FPS was 192. Now, after deleting just the options.3.cod22 file, my average FPS jumped to 211 and my average GPU FPS jump from 209 to 232. Now you can see here that when I have the beginning of both tests running side by side, in the second test, I only drop below 200 frames per second once, and in the first test, I'm constantly dropping below 200. I've also noticed that lately, whenever I would warm up against bots and shipment, my frames seemed a lot lower than normal, but after trying it, after I deleted the COD22 file, my frames shot right back up. Now, unfortunately, after I relaunched the game again, the COD22 file came back and I was back to square one, my frames immediately dipped again. So after doing some research, I ended up reading a comment on the video I initially saw where Doug was talking about the issue and in the comment they said the easiest solution is just to completely delete the players folder empty the recycling bin and then once you load the game back up the game will automatically generate only the newest configuration files so after trying it to my surprise I opened up the newly generated players folder I found that the only files that were available were the COD22 files and all of the COD HQ files were gone now, I was surprised by this just because the COD HQ files, they're newer than the COD 22 files, but after loading the game and running the benchmark again, I actually had even higher FPS than I did before. Next, I loaded into a private match and I tested how it felt against bots. Not only was I getting a higher frame rate, but my frames seemed to stay quite a bit steadier than they were before, not fluctuating nearly as bad. In the gap between my highs and lows, they were quite a bit better than they have been. Now, the game also felt a lot more responsive than it has in the last few weeks. I've been complaining how sluggish it felt for a while now, but after deleting the old COD file, it feels much better than it has been. Even if you guys only have one of the file types, I would definitely recommend giving this a shot. You could see a major improvement all you have to do is click the yellow folder down at the bottom of your desktop go to where it says documents and then completely delete the call of duty folder make sure to empty your recycling bin and then when you load the game back up it will automatically generate new configuration files now to save yourself a huge headache make sure you go through and you take pictures of your in-game settings the graphics tab the controller tab the interface tab and the audio tab also remember to take a picture of your settings in the configuration file if that's something you guys make changes to now if you haven't seen my video on responsiveness i highly recommend you check it out i show you how to change the memory setting in the configuration files for a massive boost in responsiveness it worked for a lot of people it's definitely worth trying especially if you're on a 20 series graphics card or higher now once you delete the Call of Duty or the Players folder, 
all your settings are gonna reset. So if you have pictures of how they were before, it's gonna make it a lot faster and easier to redo them. Now, if worst comes to worst and this doesn't work, just try uninstalling the game and deleting all the Call of Duty files off your computer and then reinstall it. After that, you should only have the newest files. Just make sure to delete all the old files first. Sometimes even traces of older file versions left over on your computer can make a game run bad. Be on the lookout for another FPS video I'll have out in the next couple weeks. I'll also have a short aim assist video and how to fix it on days it feels weaker. And I'm also researching a network booster program that can increase internet speeds to Warzone or any other game. Now, if you found this video helpful, drop a like, follow me over on Twitter to stay up to date on everything Warzone 2, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more short, straight to the point videos like this. I'll catch you next time, and if not, kick rocks. Peace. Kick rocks,